Good morning, SWE. It's an amazing day for learning here at Southwest Elementary. Today is Monday, December 12th. I'm Olivia. And this is Lexi. And it's time for us to check the SWE TV mailbox. I love getting Christmas cards. Our special delivery elves have been bringing holiday cards from all over our city this week that highlight awesome activities in Lakeland. Our first card is... Michael from First Friday. Hello, Spurs. I'm excited to tell you about First Friday. The event happens the first Friday of every month in Mun Park. The shops and street vendors eating at food trucks. My family and I love checking out the dazzling light display. Thanks, Michael. I'll try to go next month. And I think we have another special delivery in the mailbox. It's Miss Gibson and the SWE students that kicked off our holiday season with their presentation, December Lights. Aubriana has all the details about this very special delivery. This special delivery comes from right here in the Southwest Elementary Cafe. Second and third grade performers, as well as our fifth grade strings and Bryce, performed an awesome show. Hit it, Bryce! <laughs> Brianna, that was an awesome performance. It really got me in the holiday spirit. Speaking of holiday spirit, it looks like we have another special delivery. Let's look. Aw, it's from the day Sophia and Michael visited Mrs. Selfridge's class with the book we've been reading on the morning show, Snowed Under and Other Christmas Confusions. We have been reading an awesome book by Sarah Gay Block on the morning show. It's full of idioms that people around the world use to describe the holiday season. Idioms are sayings or phrases that mean something very different than what they actually say. The illustrations in this book are a neat mix of ink drawings and photographs. They are cool even though they are not a big help in figuring out which idiom means. We visited with Miss Self just class as they were working on figuring out some of these holiday idioms. Mom said not to worry because Santa is the king of the hill. King of the hill means that you're the best at something. The mom said she felt snowed under. Snow under means so much stuff is going on and stuff is piled on you. Wow, those third graders are doing a great job interpreting idioms. I'll bet they can practically feel themselves becoming better readers. And I feel like it's time to open our next card. I love this one. It's Miss April and Irma. Irma looks so cute in her Santa hat. I wonder what they're unloading. JT helped with this special delivery. He's with Miss April and Irma. April and Irma, her therapy reading dog, are here to read to some lucky third graders each week. But they're always looking for new ways to get kids excited about reading. Mrs. April, with help from our Southwest PTO and teachers, created these amazing gift baskets. Each time a student takes an AR test and gets an 85% or higher, they get a ticket. Those tickets let them enter the drawing for whatever prize basket they choose. After we unloaded the baskets, I had some time to talk with Mrs. April. What inspired you guys to come read to all of these students? I love to read, and Irma likes to listen. And so we thought, maybe there's some other kids who don't like to read as much as you and I and maybe they would like to lay on a dog bed and read to Irma. That's like winning twice. Students are going to be better readers and win a good prize. What great motivation to work hard on AR reading. Those baskets are amazing. Speaking of AR reading, Austin and Amira are ready for the AR Pajama Day Readathon. Amira and I are getting ready for the Readathon on Friday, December 16th. As you're reading, make sure to read short books at least three times before you test. If you have a chapter book, picture the major events in your mind to help remember them. And finally, remember to look back in the book to check your answers during the AR quiz. Your pajamas need to keep you warm and cozy. And you have to wear real shoes. Your teacher will let you know if you can bring slippers or not. Hey Lexi, this is my special delivery for SWE. Open it. Oh wow, this is a special delivery. That's you in the Lakeland Christmas Parade. Hi Southwest Elementary School, I'm Olivia and I'm reporting from the Lakeland Christmas Parade. This tradition is a great way to start the holiday season in our town. Each year, over 100 floats, marching bands, and others entertain thousands of people as they wind through the streets of downtown Lakeland. 
Wow, it was so exciting walking in that parade. That's one of my favorite things about this time of the year. It's cool out, so it feels great to be outside. Cool, this next card is all about a beautiful place in Lakeland to enjoy being outside. It's Clementine. Let's hear more from her about this amazing place she found. Hi, Southwest. I'm Clementine, and I'm at Lakeland's newest park, Bonnet Springs Park. I thought I'd show you around. Let's go! Bonnet Springs Park covers 168 acres. That's bigger than Disney. The park has a tree house, a restaurant, a nature center, a butterfly house, a lagoon for canoeing and kayaking, a walkway through the trees, and much, much more. It's like Central Park in Lakeland. There are so many awesome things to do at that park. We should definitely get out there over break. Yeah, text me. I'll ask my mom. But being out the cold air always makes me want candy canes. Peppermint is my favorite holiday smell. Me too. I love candy canes and mints. I hope this next card can help us with that. Sweet, this card comes from the fifth grade science classes as they study dissolving rate with peppermints. Chocolate and peppermint are two of the smells that remind me of Christmas. This week, fifth grade students got to mix science and holiday candy as we learned about the different factors that affect dissolving rate. Students experimented with different ways to affect the dissolving speed of peppermint candies. They created a hypothesis of what they thought would happen then gathered data so that they could draw a conclusion at the end to decide if their hypothesis was correct or not. Let's find out what their conclusion was. We concluded that movement makes the peppermint dissolve faster. What a delicious way to learn about how things dissolve fastest. Olivia, look at this last special delivery in the mailbox. I didn't see that get dropped off. Neither did I. I wonder who it could be from. Well, let's find out. Oh, wow. Oh, wait, that's us with Santa. Okay, Spurs, and now it's time for our favorite picture of the year, Santa pictures. Santa pictures are Tuesday, December 13th. That's tomorrow. Ho, ho, ho. Come out and see me and dress in your holiday best, just like me. Santa pictures are $5. Anyone getting their picture taken can wear their favorite holiday outfit to school. And then come see me and Tell me all your Christmas wishes. Are we gonna do the cooking show now? I thought we were doing the cooking show. I wanna make cookies. Uh... Okay, stop us, not time to get started with our day. Remember to share the magic of Christmas with others and work to reach your potential today. And have a Merry Christmas.